Good evening folks, so tonight I'm just running a stability test on my um, my Veriton M288 um, I'm just using NVIDIA um, Entune and I'm going to see what I can do by overclocking my system and it's the first time I'm trying it so that's why I'm using a software to do it but, um, and also my BIOS won't actually let me get into it at all. Now just to show you, this is what um, GPU-Z, CPU-Z and core temp is showing. Now core temp on an offset of 15, um, obviously because um, the Mac power don't want to have 185. So just check on um, core clock 699.5, memory clock 700, so both stocks on that are both actually 700. Um, shader clock 1400, um, GPU temperature 51, fan speed 65%, quite stable. Memory use 205, um, obviously that's changing compared to how this is changing, changes that. Um, GPU loads, seen that up to 77% before. Uh, memory controller loads 68, um, again that's changing depending on what the other screen is doing. Uh, video engine loads 0%, haven't seen that moved at all. Uh, bus interface load was on 5%. Perth cap, reason, and then VDDC. Okay, then on here, I'll go through the options on this one. Um, apologies for my um, unsteadiness. So core speed's running at 2.7 at the moment. See so it's the Acer Veriton M288 with 4 gig Kingston Hyper, um, HyperX Fiori, I believe it is. And there's my graphic card, my GT730. Um, I haven't used a bench on this one yet. Okay, and then as you can see over here, my cores, I'm, uh, obviously it's a quad core, it's, um, I'm using the Q9400 York Field. Um, it's the only one that I could actually get to run stable on my um, on my Veriton. Uh, I probably could have went higher, but I um, didn't feel I need to, to be honest. This one cost me about... About 16 quid, something like that. So, um, yeah, that'll do for me. And my cores are around 30, 25, 30, 35. So, we'll see how this gets on. Um, this is still running, it currently has six minutes left on it. So, let's see what happens at the end. I also wanted to just show um, on my graphics card that normal clock speed is 700 and um, the shader is 1400 and memory 700 as well um, so I'm hoping to get a lot more performance out of this <coughs> or at least a bit more performance anyway because it keeps um, it's not doing what I'd like it to do so we'll see how that goes Okay, apologies for that, just trying to get my camera ready there. Um, okay, so I've run a performance stability test. Um, it hasn't actually gave me... any report on it though. Oops. Nope. Actually, you know what? Let's launch. Let's launch that. This is its um, sort of little monitor. Okay. 
Okay, so it was on factory shipped. And let me just try and zoom on a little bit. It was on factory shipped here. And uh, we just go on to custom clock frequencies. And I'm gonna go to I did the seven fifty. Seven twenty and Okay, now we can change anything over there, so let's apply that through to it. As you can see now, 750, 720. 1500 shade o'clock, 44 temperature, 65% fan speed, 162 memory used. That's still fine. Core speed still running up. Oh, it's actually dropped that one at two, so that's fine. See there's nothing going on the back there. Okay, so you can do a coarse tuning and a fine tuning. So, allow NVIDIA Entune to use a complex searching algorithm to determine the best stable performance for your system. Because Entune is pushing the system to its limit, to the limits, some hangs will occur. But upon restart, Entune will continue its tuning process until it's completed. Important, save and close all where close all applications do not perform tasks during the tuning session. Okay, so that's course tuning. Fine, uh, course tuning. Quickly perform simple tuning of bus speeds and memory timings to achieve performance gains. Fine tuning performs more complex tuning of bus speeds, memory timings and voltages to achieve maximum performance. This process takes longer time to complete. And then tune using custom settings. Select specific areas to tune and specify the duration of the tuning task. Note longer tuning sessions result in more precise and stable settings. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to factory. So actually shift. Apply that. Goes back out to seven hundred, that's fine. Let's go to a course tuner and let's try that. It's okay, so I can't use that one unfortunately. It says that I can't, but clearly I can. So adjusting FSB zero hit zero 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 percent change. Adjusting memory timings zero zero zero. Adjusting AGP a PCI bus zero zero zero. <coughs> okay, so we'll see how this will um, run. Now looking at this over here, our CPU is running at six percent. Our memory is running at thirty one percent. So let's see what changes that will actually make. So I'll just pause this video and we'll come back to it. Okay, so we're now 15 minutes through it. Um, and at the moment, nothing at all has changed. So we'll see what happens at 10 minutes and see if there's any change to any of the, um, the original speeds. Okay, so <clears throat> we're now 10 minutes through and still nothing has changed. So I've got a feeling this is going to come back and say basically 
most stable thing I can do is leave it how it is. Um, however, I think I'm still going to change the speeds on the graphics um, just to make it a little bit smoother and for rendering times. Um, hopefully, it will help out with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say, you know, I'm hoping that soon I shall get some values. Okay, so we've got four minutes remaining, which means this has been one of 16 minutes and still no change. Um, on my performance chart, my CPU is now running at between 1 and 2%, as high as 5. Memory steady at 31%, and my fans are running at CPU fan 4 RPM. Enforce, as my graphics card, is running at 240 RPM. And AUX1, which is my extra fan, is running at 250 RPM. Um, nothing's changed on GPU-Z, CPU-Z, or core temp. If anything, on core temperature, they've all dropped now. Um, my four cores are now running from between 15 to 25. Um, so, obviously, you know, it's, it's still stable at the moment. Nothing's changed. Um, hopefully something will change eventually okay so it's now coming to the end of that um, the interesting thing was there was no hang on it at all um, still hasn't given me new values not sure what it's going to give me the results it should give me a graph view um, so have a look at what, what it's done whilst it's been uh, running. Once it actually stops. I was hoping that in the last few minutes um, some sort of values would change. But unfortunately, no. Okay, so stop there. Yeah, not at all changed. Let's have a look here. This information three point six six. Yeah. So it looks like an only um, basically adjust the GPU through this. Okay, so drive that. Let's try it out thousands. I know you meant to ring these these in increments, but uh, why not? Thousands and set this to eight hundred. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's coming very unstable. Very, very unstable. Oh, let's try. 
850. 850's running fine. He's running fine. Nine hundred. Okay, so I running blender at eight hundred, uh, nine hundred even. Obviously no light in there, but seems to be going pretty smooth. Okay. Seven fifty on the memory bus. No fun changes. Actually, I shall just check all of that. Just a password to complete. Okay, let's try this. Let's see how this one's. Nope, it can't handle that. Okay. Eight fifty. Stability test. Start. Stop that. Let's put down to seven hundred. In fact, I used common settings. And then just and seven fifty. Applying that gives eighteen hundred shade o'clock. Let's start. No, it's not playing very well there. Okay. So it only passed fifty nine on the stocks um the stock settings. Fuck. Ah.
Okay, so let's just try it on 800. Show me much more. Very well then. Okay. Seven hundred. That is seven fifty. Not much more than stock. Okay, this doesn't want to work at all. Let's go last the GPU. Factory, 700, 700s. Okay. Okay, so just restart the system a minute. Um, start and tune again. Both of that's 700. Let's try, try this one. Okay, so that's what I'm trying there. Stop that. At 900. There we go. We're well, still running at 900. And let's see how many that passes. Passed 59 on the first one. So let's see how many it'll pass whilst it's um, clocked. Okay, so I don't know if it's um, just me on this, but when I'm watching this here, you have a look just here. See that fly across there. I'm not sure if that's going to count as being unstable. Or oh, that's actually passed the video because it's shown in every single one of them. So we'll see how many it passes once it gets down. Uh, once it completes the 10 minutes. Okay, so we are clocked at 900. We've done 60 passes, so that's obviously improved it a little bit. Um, now I think we went to 9.50 before. And... seven fifty. Let's see how it does on this one. And now we've came across an error. So let's uh, don't need that open and tune. Let's try that again. 
Okay, so I'm actually getting two passes into it, and you can see just here, I'm getting a bit of um, distortion on it, and just here as well. Um, actually, it keeps coming up just over there, and it's crashed, so we can't do that. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is, on the core speed, you know it's safe at 900. So apply that. And now try the stability test, see what happens. I'm not getting any funky triangles around the exterior. It's all looking good. So let's see how that goes. And if you can get more than 60 passes on it, um, I think I'll leave it as that. 